async and await allows you to write promise-based code as if it were synchronous, but without blocking the main thread. Pointer events provide a unified way of handling all input events. Sites added to the home screen are granted automatic persistent storage permission, and there's plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Here's what's new for developers in Chrome 55. Pointing at things on the web used to be simple. You had a mouse, you moved it around, and sometimes you push buttons, and that was it. But this doesn't work so well. Touch events are good, but to support touch and mouse, you had to support two event models. Chrome now enables unified input handling by dispatching pointer events. Pointer events unify the pointer input model for the browser, bringing touch, pens, mice together into a single set of events. They're supported in IE11, Edge, Chrome, Opera, and partially supported in Firefox. Check out the updates post linked below for more details. Asynchronous JavaScript can be difficult to reason with. Take this function with all its lovely callbacks. Rewriting it with promises helps to avoid the nesting problem, but promise-based code can still be difficult to read when there are long chains of asynchronous dependencies. Chrome now supports the async and await keywords, allowing you to write promise-based JavaScript that can be as structured and as readable as synchronous code. Instead of this, our asynchronous function can be simplified to this. Jake has a great post on developers.google.com slash web slash updates with all the details. The persistent storage origin trial is now over. You can now mark web storage as persistent, preventing Chrome from automatically clearing the storage of your site. In addition, sites that have high engagement, have been added to the home screen, or have push notifications enabled are automatically granted the persistence permission. Check out Chris Wilson's post for full details on how you can request the persistent storage for your site. CSS automatic hyphenation is one of Chrome's most requested layout features and is now supported on Android and Mac. And finally, it's easier to invoke native sharing capabilities with the new WebShare API, which is available as an origin trial. Paul, WebIntense Kinlan, has all the details linked in the description below. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 55 for developers. Check the description for more details. If you want to stay up to date with Chrome and know what's coming, click the subscribe button. And be sure to check out the videos from the Chrome Dev Summit for a deeper dive into some of the awesome things the Chrome team is working on. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 56 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.